what's up guys we're back with more into the flames gameplay and today we're going to be looking at the new ems update that is currently on the testing branch you'll want to check this one out so be sure to hit that thumbs up and let's get started as we're back on the canton county free roam we're in my favorite uh, firefighter ems character we're going to be doing some ems calls that uh the ems is currently live on the testing branch so everyone uh, you know you're free to go check it out uh, if you know how to set that up in steam just go to the testing branch and take a look at it uh, we're going to be taking some calls. It's still, uh, we got the five calls. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, force dispatch call. So what we're going to be looking for is medical. Here we go. Uh, 1500 Alp Avenue, Alp Avenue Medical. Uh, 10 Atlantic Avenue Medical. 5 Ralph Boulevard Medical. Uh, 4 Bubba Lane Medical. There should be one more. I thought there was five. Maybe not. Maybe there's four. There was five uh, when I did the early look at it, but I guess it's uh, been paired back to four now because I don't see the fifth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay. There's not five. There's four. All right. So the four different calls that we got, they're all going to be at the same location, but they'll uh, it'll be a random uh, case every time. So let's go ahead and see about getting started. We'll pull this back up. Force dispatch call. Let's take this one. Five Ralph Boulevard uh, Medical at uh, box 420. <laughs> 420. You gotta love it. All right, let's hop in. Uh, I didn't even see what it was. What what was the call for? Let's look. Uh, traumatic injury. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's take that. Uh, let's hop in. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why I did that. I hit E, and for some reason the map pulled up. All right. Let's hit lights. Headlights, and we'll head that way. And the siren, right? I need the siren too. Oh, you need to wait, car. All right, this one's going to be right up here at the hotel. What a stormy, nasty, nasty day. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, they <laughs> just fell out in the parking lot. No. Oh, man, that doesn't look good at all. All right, he's like, could you please turn the siren off right here beside me? I don't feel good already. And you blasting that thing. All right, let's go up here. Let's go uh, gear, medical bag, and I think that's all we need. Let's go ahead and get the stretcher out because this doesn't look good at all. Doesn't look good at all. Well, now we got a male, so that's changed. Uh, it was all female when we took that very early look at it. All right, so you're gonna walk up this dude. You're gonna hit E. You're gonna pull all this stuff up. You know what, wait. I, that doesn't feel legit to me at all. Let's crouch. Now let's hit E. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not good either. Let's try this again. I'm going to get it right. Let's get, let's at least face the dude. You don't want to be behind him. Oh yeah, he's not doing good at all, man. Like something's wrong here. All right, now let's hit E and uh, let's assess the patient. He is alive. Uh, whatever this is, is normal. I think this is his mental status. Need some clarification on that. I think that's his mental status. Normal breathing, lungs sound normal. Okay. Vitals, uh, blood pressure, uh, 113 over 76. Heart rate is 96. O2 is 95. Respirations is 12. Blood sugar, 77. None of that seems bad to me. Let's check his body out. Uh, okay, how's your neck feel? Feels fine. What about your chest? Any pain in your chest? No, it feels fine too. What about your arms and legs? Uh, these look good. We're laying eyes on his entire, on, on his entire person here. Normal, normal, normal and normal this said traumatic injury but um i uh yeah i don't see any problems here like his uh his o2 is a little bit on the low side i'm i mean like i said every time that i've ever had mine check in, checked it's been like 98 99 so to me that seems a little bit low for a healthy person but uh his respirations are all right uh, blood sugar seems okay. Uh, heart rate, 96. Yeah, it's a little bit elevated for laying on the ground, I would think. It's a little bit elevated, so. And, uh, blood pressure looks okay as well, too, so. All right, let's hit protocols and open that up. Uh, let's see if anything has changed with this. Medical protocols, let's see. General patient care. All patients need to be transported. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as the last time. Deformed limbs should be splinted. Bleeding limbs should have, uh, first have bandage applied. If bleeding continues, the tourniquet should be applied, okay. Uh, difficulty breathing. Yeah, this all looks uh, pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, this all looks good to me. I think we'll just, uh, we'll load him up and take him just to be, uh, observed. But yeah, Spur doesn't know. I don't have a clue. I'm the worst paramedic ever. I don't know what's up with this dude. 
I mean, like, to me, stat-wise, he looks okay. Uh, there's a few things look suspicious. His heart rate looks suspicious. And his uh, O2 was a little bit low. So maybe that was the start of cardiac problems. I don't know. I'm not 100% certain on that, but... We'll go ahead and uh, we'll transport him to the hospital. And like I said, we'll drop him off there and let him go into uh, observation. Oh, we're <laughs> doing car. Man, he was determined to scoot across that uh, that intersection. All right, let's hang this turn right here. This is all keyboard and mouse. I am the worst keyboard and mouse driver ever. It's not my thing. I would love it if this... Uh, if eventually this would support my logitech wheel i'd be all about it all right let's back him up here there we go let's roll with the siren to the er door i'm sure they love that too all right oh we got in with the bag let's dump you off uh, medical bag there we go and uh, we're going to dump you off here all right let's get him out All right, too bad we didn't have an age and all that, too, to go along with it. All right, we've got a, uh, a male we found in the parking lot. Unknown age. Uh, his heart rate's a little bit elevated. I mean, he's not tachycardic, but uh, it seems a little bit high to be resting. And his, uh, his O2 saturation is 95%, so y'all can have him do as you see fit, please. There we go. All right, problem solved. Crisis averted. Let's close uh, close this up. And we'll see about taking our next call. All right, here we go. Rolling up on our next call. I know medical condition. We'll, uh, we'll get up here and check this person out. See what's going on with him. Slow down. All right, here we go. Should be right up here. Another one's done falling out on the sidewalk. <laughs> nice. Oh, these people are dropping like flies. All right. Not a good day. Not a good day to be walking around in town, right? Tools. Uh, wait, that's not right. We need gear. Uh, medical bag. There we go. Then let's go ahead and get the stretcher out. All right. Hello. Can you hear me? I'm with uh, Kenton County Fire EMS. Hello, sir. How you doing today? Let's see what's going on with you here. Can you talk to me? Hello. <laughs> He doesn't look good. He's just staring. Oh, is he convulsing? It looked like he was convulsing there for a second. Maybe that was just the lighting effect. Maybe the lighting reflecting made him look like it looked like he moved up and down. All right, let's see what's going on with him. Uh, says patient. He is alive. He is unresponsive. He has agonal breathing. His lungs sound normal. Okay, so that's not good. So he's basically passed out on the sidewalk. Vitals, uh... 118 over 78 for his blood pressure. His heart rate is 83. Uh, O2 is 95 respirations per minute. 12 blood sugar 102. All right, let's check him out. Let's lay eyes on this dude. So he looks like next fine. Uh, his chest is okay. Uh, all this looks normal. So he hasn't had any kind of trauma, nothing going on with that. So he's alive, he's unresponsive, he's got agonal breathing. Let's look at the protocols, difficulty breathing. Assess lung sounds, his lung sounds are normal. If patient oxygen is less than 94, but greater than 85, administer low flow oxygen with a nasal cannula. Uh, let's see, if patient oxygen is less than 85, administer oxygen. Yeah, that's not us. We're not any of that. Uh, I don't know what we do for agonal breathing. Like, we have to do something for that. Uh, general patient care. All right, let's look at the overdose protocol. It says assess breathing and pulse. If patient has agonal breathing, establish an airway and administer high flow oxygen with a bag valve mask. You may administer up two doses of naloxone. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Assess breathing in between doses. Regardless of improvement, promptly transport patient to the nearest hospital. Okay, I think he's OD'd. I think he's OD'd. I think that's why he's out. And uh, his heart rate, I, I don't know. I don't know if you'd have a, a low heart rate. I, mean, I guess it depends on what you OD on. You, I guess you could get a low heart rate. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We'll put you on a backboard. 
Just in case. Just in case. If you flatline, we can give you chest compressions. Uh, let's see. I think it said... Uh, let's go back to protocols. Uh, overdose. Uh, administer high flow oxygen with a bag of valve mask. Okay. High flow oxygen. There we go. High flow oxygen with a bag of valve mask. I think that's good there. Is there anything else we need to do other than to give nalox, uh, naloxone, I guess. I don't know how you would pronounce that. Naloxone, I guess. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this is new confirmed beyond help. Does that mean they're dead? And then you can radio the report to doctor. Let's radio it to the doctor. He's not confirmed to see, so I guess you only do that if they're dead. What does this do? Patient can be treated. Okay, so yeah, we can treat them. I guess if we couldn't, like the last patient, we should have done that. I didn't even notice that. All right, let's give them uh, naloxone and let's see one dose of that. All right, I guess we need to take his uh, patient status again. He still has agonal breathing. Uh, let's give him another one up to two. Uh, he's still got agonal breathing. Let's exit out. Let's let's reassess him. Okay. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? All right. Let's check you out. Can you hear me? Hello. Are you back with us? No, he's not. Oh. Uh. Uh-oh. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> no. Oh, it says he's alive, but all his stats are zero. What happened? Uh, d uh dude's dead. Like, something happened. Uh, what can we do for this? Uh, uh, uh. Epinephrine. We'll give him epi. When in doubt, give epi. Uh, let's see what that does. Uh, yeah, I think... Maybe chest compressions too, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know if this is legit or... Or if it's a bug. I, I really, I don't know. We're giving him chest compressions though. Alright, let's exit out of you. And let's go back in. Let's hit it again. Oh, we're <laughs> straddling him on the backboard. What is that about? Uh, obtain vitals. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This, something's not right. <laughs> something's not right at all. Dude, get off the patient. What is wrong with you? <laughs> He's, that didn't. That wasn't good at all. Okay. Let's load him up and <laughs> let's go lights and siren. I think I may totally goof that up somehow. It didn't happen until after we gave him the uh, second thing of naloxone. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's roll. Let's take him. All right, here we are at the hospital. Let's kill the siren. Let's do it right this time. I think usually uh, they roll up with the siren off to the ER so they won't like wake the dead. People are trying <laughs> trying to get better and rest in there. That would suck. All right, let's see. This is back up. We'll drop this dude off. Last time it was all females. Today it's all guys. All dudes. Dudes are having a hard time today. Alright, let's get him out. Alright, we got a male patient. Unknown age. Uh, he's zero across the board on everything. I don't know what's going on with him. So y'all take him and <laughs> do what you can. There we go. Alright. I don't know what's up with him. Oh man, I just realized we're almost out of gas. I I wasn't paying attention to that. That would have been good if we'd been on a call and uh, <laughs> run ourselves out of gas. Let's head to the gas station. We'll uh, we'll fill up real fast. All right, here we go. E to use fueling station. Oh, we parked on the wrong side. Dang it! I didn't know it was on the off side. Right? Is it on the off side? Looks maybe not. Maybe it is on the right side. Maybe it's underneath it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's hop in. Let's see what it's doing here. Oh, it's taking forever. This thing was thirsty. There we go. Nice and topped off. Oh, it did put it back for us. I'll go out to get out and do it too, but uh, I guess not. All right. Let's hop in and get out of here. We'll see about our next EMS call. All right, here we go. Four Bubba Lane. Difficulty breathing. I don't know if there's a driveway in this place or not. All right, All right let's do this. Hit the siren. That's going to be down here in the boonies. It's going to take us a minute to get down there. Should <laughs> should take the chopper. All right, here we are. Eight bubble lane, the trailer park. Something's done happened. Let's see what's going on. 
Oh, speed bump. Here they are. Uh, yeah, I think last time we came down here, someone had been hit by a car. They're in bad shape. They're bleeding. Okay. Let's hop out. Let's see what's going on. Hello, ma'am. How you doing? We're with uh, Canton County EMS. What's going on with you today? Get our medical bag and we'll get stretched real fast. It's just me. I'm by myself. Okay, so just bear with me. All right, hello. I think I've seen you before. How you doing? All right, let's see. What's going on? Uh, wheezing in breath sounds. Uh, normal breathing. Uh, normal mental status. She is alive. Uh, let's see. 114 over 87. Heart rate 93. O2 96. She's got better O2, O2 stats than dude is laid out in the parking lot. Uh, respirations per minute 12. Blood sugar 72. Wheezing makes me wonder if she's having an allergic reaction. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, I think so. I think... Uh, assess lung sounds. Patient, okay, yeah, we're fine with that. Patient is less... Yeah, we're good with all that. Okay. Uh, wheezing requires albuterol. Yeah, she's having... Uh, she's having some kind of reaction. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, let's show treatments. Let's give her some albuterol. There we go. All right, high treatments. Let's see if that corrects the uh, condition. That's the patient again. Uh, so far not. Uh, let's put her on low flow oxygen. Actually, I think we goof that up too because it won't do much good to give albuterol if she's not on some some kind of oxygen. Let's do low flow flow oxygen with uh, uh, a nasal. See, this confuses me right here. It says nasal airway and then nasal cannula. So I'm assuming. We have to do that, right? Like, I don't know. I think that's where we goofed up with that other guy. Let's see. Na let's see. Nasal airway, oral airway. Yeah, I think that's where we goofed up with the other guy. I think it is. Here's some more albuterol. Can we give her albuterol times two? I don't think so. All right, let's see. Let's, uh, let's exit out and we'll... Uh, all right, let's check her again and see what it looks like. Uh, she still has uh, wheezing and breath sounds. Everything else is okay. Well, she didn't die. I'm trying to think, is there anything else we need to do? Let's look at the protocols one more time. All right, let's see. Rocky requires only oxygen treatments. Wheezing requires albuterol treatment. Rails requires oxygen pressure mask. If patient oxygen meets requirements, do not administer albuterol if patient presents with rails. No, she didn't have rails. She's fine. She's just wheezing. Check her chest here. Yeah, her chest feels normal. Let's see. Is there anything else we can do here? We gave her albuterol. We, uh, we did a nasal airway. I, I don't know. I'm not sure on this one, guys. Let's put her on a backboard. We'll take her in. There we go. All right. Return and uh, let's see. All right, treatment is transports ground. All right, man, we're going to load you up and uh, take you in to be checked out. I was like, she's having an allergic reaction. I'd be willing to bet that's what it is. All right, I'm going to say we're just going to roll with lights. I mean, she's fine. Her stats look good. She's still, she's got a little wheezing, but I think she'll be all right. We'll roll with this and uh, we'll dump her off at the hospital and then do something else. Maybe we'll do a fire real quick. After we, jump, after we jump these speed bumps, I bet the back of the ambulance is a wreck now. There's stuff scattered all over the floor. All right, here we are, home sweet home. We'll dump her out and we'll be good to go. Like I said, we'll do a fire real fast. All right, let's get out. There we go. Or if we can look at her stats on the stretcher. You know, I've never tried that before. No, we can't because it's just going to put her in. Yeah, never mind. All right, we've got a, uh, a female this time, unknown age. She's uh, 
Got some wheezing. All her stats look fine so far, though. Got her own uh, albuterol and uh, low-flow oxygen. So there you go. Merry Christmas. Have a great day. We're <laughs> going to dump you off. We've got other things to do. All right, let's see about grabbing a fire real quick, guys. All right, we jump down to station three. We've got us a call. It's going to be for a propane tank on fire. Let's see. Let's take this real fast. There we go. 25 Pine Road. Exit out of you. I want to see if we can uh, if we can get this out. Lights. We need lights. Why is the lights not working? There we go. All right, let's go. All right, luckily, it's going to be right down the street. So quick response time, guys. Quick. We'll get down there. Only thing is uh, our our supply. Like we're going to be really limited. We may need a tanker. I don't see a propane. Oh, rocks! Never mind. <laughs> rocks. Who puts a rock there? Why? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Quick. 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 Uh, attack line. Attack. Let's hit E. And use water. Uh, propane tank is cool. Okay. There we go. Shut it off. Nice. We did it. Yes. We finally saved the propane tank, guys. We, <laughs> we did it. We finally did it. I'm vindicated now because we, uh, we averted a major explosion. You know what? I think that's a, a, a really good note to end this on. Like a, a huge plus, a victory for us. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the new EMS uh, update on a testing branch if you've looked at it, all that good stuff. Love all you guys. Thank you so much for your support, and uh, we'll catch you in Canton County next time. Peace.